Uh, my name is Brent Peters and this is my 13th year teaching. My ninth year here at Fern Creek High School. I always knew I wanted to teach, but when I, when I graduated from college, I knew I wasn't quite ready. Uh, and I also knew I had this passion for cooking and I wanted to figure out how that was, you know, I wanted to follow that passion too. And as someone who was interested in literature and as someone who was interested in writing, I thought, well, my goodness, why not bring that into the classroom as well? So that's kind of how not only I thought about getting ready for teaching, but also how I sort of try to combine the two worlds together and think about what if we tried to, to create a classroom that was like a family sitting at a dinner table where everybody was laughing, everybody felt like they belong, everybody felt like they had something to contribute, and where we were willing to forgive each other for the things that we disagreed about. And today we were doing a, a lesson on food maps. We can become a part of each other's food map and kind of become a part of each other's extended family via that food map. So we can have class uh, meals and we can have class cookouts. And we also do food and text pairings where we we pair some, um, you know, a story or an excerpt from a novel with a food item and we try to say, well, hey, how does our, our, our understanding of the novel or understanding of the essay or the poem, how is it enhanced based on our understanding and experience of not only making this food item together, but also having it together and enjoying it together as a class. We look at, a, we look at our city as a, in terms of thinking about food deserts in our city. We look at maps in our city and say, listen, um, look at things like food and access food and home, uh, food waste. Food is also a language that we all speak and also food is connected to culture. Food is a part of our culture. Uh, food is a part of our heritage and food is a way of talking about what that heritage connects to as well. So in bringing in food items from home, we're also encouraged to bring in family. We're, in, we're invited to bring in our neighborhood, but then also to go back to our neighborhood and try to think about it also as, as how we fit into it and also how we can read that neighborhood and how we can read our community, how we can read our city, and start to think about how not only our Louisville food story and our family and our neighborhood food story looks, but also how that compares to and contrasts with stories from across the country in different areas and different regions and how maybe what we're doing here can connect to what's going on in, in the Middle East or what's going on in Asia. Sort of think about, well, hey, if I can read food in a critical and analytical way and I, I can also connect myself and my culture to that, then I also can understand other cultures via that.